Hey guys, Rob here at Front Row Live Entertainment. We're still hanging out at the red carpet for Nick Cannon's event. I'm hanging out with Joe Richards. How's it going, man? It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. It's wonderful to be here and see the young adults all coming together like this. Yeah, a lot of a lot of kids with so many, so much talent, and you know they get overseen, right? Yeah, all the time. And I was one of those one of those young adults that got overseen for so long. And then I said, if you stay focused and you be dedicated to what you do and put a lot of hard work out there, good things will come to you. Exactly. Now, who who did, who were you excited to see for the performances that were going on today? There's a lot of competitions going on. It, it's so many, but I was a fan of Lincoln. It, but it's so many, it's so many, but I was a fan of Lincoln. Yeah, definitely. And then what? Uh, you're you're doing? Uh, you're you're an author, right? Yeah, I'm an author. I'm an author. I'm the author of a young man with a plan one and two. Okay. Um, I also have my third book that'll be coming out worldwide in two weeks from now. And other for that, I'm working on a film with Tyler Perry. So nice. pretty much getting out there. Nice. And, and about about your writing, you know, you, you seem really young, and you already have three books going on, right? Yeah, yeah. So how did how did you start that, and how did you actually get this out? Only I'm only 21, and it's a weird story. But you're um, making me feel old. <laughs> I'm only 21, but it's a weird story. I do work with John Legend and Steve Harvey. Those are my, some of my mentors. Can I, can I go to work with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Come on. <laughs> and it's pretty weird because, and this is what I was preaching to the young adults. I had it every dead end, pretty much in my writing career. And I took that opportunity that I did not give up. Yeah. So I had just recently met Steve Harvey after I did his morning show, and I had no big his, deal. And I got his number. I got his number. And with that being said, I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I had reached the dead end, and I told myself, I can't give up here. I had reached every dead end. Nobody wanted to publish my work. So, But I did not give up. That's the main point I'm saying. I kept being persistent, and I went to Steve Harvey, and I told him. I, I pretty much laid it all in line. He gave me 16 minutes to tell him everything about me. And I was talking, 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 trying to get everything out. And at the end, at the end of my interview with Steve Harvey, the next thing he said, can you be here tomorrow for a live TV interview and a radio interview? And then that's how a young man with a plan came to pass. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, thank but, you. But you know, nothing, nothing good comes easy. So you gotta yeah, work hard. You have to work for it. And I try to tell them, and I try to tell a lot of young adults, especially from a lot of urban areas, that you never let life circumstances define who you are. Exactly. You know, you're gonna hit a lot of obstacles that you're gonna go through and you're gonna face, but they're only to make you stronger. So don't let one setback really set you back. Make, exactly. Let that be your motivation, you know, to be stronger. And that's why I entitled this book "A Young Man with a Plan" because you have to have a plan. Everybody needs a plan to, you know, actually be successful. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Now you're working with Tyler. Perry, how's that coming along for you? Very, very, very stressful, I would say. Um, I put in a lot of work. I am a college student as well, so balancing both right now. Um, he just, I mean, you just have to be focused, I would say. I'm, I'm trying, I'm just balancing right now. That's the thing. I mean, it's a pleasure to actually meet you, dude. Like, I didn't know about you beforehand. Now I do, and, you know, like... I've been hats off to books. you, dude. I've, like, been here, I've been here signing books for everybody. Um, uh, whenever you tell me about an event like this, I come not just because the people are going to be here at the actual festivity, just because it's a group of young adults who's coming together. And like the thing says, taking action, you know, which is the theme of today's event, taking action. I believe everyone should take action. Exactly. And seeing someone young like you, they're, they're, they're a lot closer to you than they are to a lot of the major artists. So I think that's more inspiration to be like, hey, I can do uh -huh. this. And that's exactly why I was called here on such short notice because I'm learning that most times when it's an older adult that is lecturing pretty much to these young adults, they, they tend not to listen. But when you put someone in their shoes that they can actually relate to, I'm only a couple of years old. I graduated in 2009. If I can do it, you can do it. That's the message I tell them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, dude, it's a pleasure meeting you. Nice meeting you Where too. can we find your book? Where can they go ahead and check you out? Um, Barnes and Noble, everywhere, Amazon, any bookstores are out. It's everywhere. You ain't playing. <laughs> no, I'm not playing. <laughs> Number three will be out pretty soon. So I'm just working hard out here and working on the film. I'm, I'm bringing it to them. Cool. Well, thanks for hanging out, dude. It's a pleasure talking to you. All right.